the concatenate function in Microsoft Excel is a text function that takes information from different cells and combines them together to display in a separate cell. So for example, let's say that our manager wants to create a new column of information in his spreadsheet that combines the name of the region in column A with the name of the product in column B and then combines them with a dash so they look something like this. That would be a concatenate which is different from merging which we've learned about previously in Excel because a merge is where we take multiple cells and squish them together into one single cell whereas concatenate is where we take the information from different cells put them together and display them in a separate cell. To create a concatenate function we begin with the equal sign followed by the name of the function concatenate and then our information in parentheses. Now the concatenate function does not have a specific number of pieces of information which must be included in the parentheses. That will vary depending on how many different cells we're bringing together to create this concatenate. In our case we are using three pieces of information for our example of the concatenate function. So we are going to to have three different pieces of information in the parentheses. We will call these item 1, item 2, and item 3. Now our first item in our concatenate is the name of our region in column A. In this case, specifically our northwest region in A2. So, so far our concatenate looks something like this. Now we include our comma and move on to our second item which will be the dash that separates the region from the product. When we add the dash though we need to remember to put that in quotation marks because this isn't a cell this is text and anytime we use text in Microsoft Excel functions we put that text in quotations. So that would change our concatenate to look something like this. Our third and last piece of information for our concatenate is the product name in column B, specifically the word hot dog in B2. So B2 is our third piece of information in our concatenate function. So with that in place, our concatenate function becomes northwest dash hot dog, which is what our manager was hoping to get. Now let's take a look at how this would look in Microsoft Excel. So here is our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet with the table we were using before. We would begin our concatenate function with the equal sign and then write out our function concatenate and open our parentheses. The first piece of information we needed was our region name so I'll select that followed by a comma. Now we need our dash which will be in quotation marks followed by a comma and then the name of our product in B2. That's all the information that we want to include in our concatenate. So now that we're done, we'll close with a parenthesis, press enter, and we get our northwest dash hot dog, which is exactly what we were expecting. And that is how you create a concatenate function in Microsoft Excel.